Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tracel. This is Face Meets Tracel, the YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're an oldie but goodie, thank you for coming back. I appreciate your love and your support. Now if you follow me on Instagram, this look I'm about to do today, you know that I did it the other day. And it just, my lighting just was not agreeing with me. So I was very determined that I had to get a video or something because it was really frustrating and it's just ugh. So I'm gonna do that look today. I hope you all enjoy it. It's not going to be easy peasy. I mean, yeah, it's not easy peasy. Easy peasy, those are my words. It's not going to be easy peasy. It was hard for me. It's the first time I, well, it would be the second time I'm attempting some, no, or third time I'm attempting it. It's less than five. And I need to get it done because I'm slacking and these quarantine looks need to, they need to hit. So, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to hush now and just jump straight into the video because it's going to be kind of lengthy. Alright, so guys, I did my brows off camera because it hasn't really changed. And I cleaned up the bottom using the P. Louise base and this is number 5, Ruma shade 5. And now I'm going to prime my eyelids using Ruma shade 0 which is a white base. And for today's look I'm going to be using the Morphe, yes I know my palette is in a mess. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Morphe 35B palette and yeah it's going to be colourful, pretty. And I'm not gonna do much talking just so that you could see the beauty of everything and hopefully it films properly and I get good pictures so I could get content and I won't be frustrated so you know fingers crossed and let's begin doing is blending out the eyeshadow base this is the P. Louise base zero next I'm taking this deep purple it's almost violet and I'm packing this color just above my crease um, I have hooded eyes so my crease tends to get lost when I apply a color there so I always pack it just above my crease if I want it to show when my eyes are both open and closed. So next I'm taking this pink eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it on the edges of the purple. Now we're going to have to blend just so that enough gets onto the skin that just has the eyeshadow base and onto the purple to make sure that the colors are blended together nicely and that there aren't any harsh lines. Now harsh lines are not good, remember that. I went back in with the brush that I applied the purple with just to make sure that the color didn't get lost and we didn't take it over, you know. So I'm going in with this yellow. This is also from the Morphe 35B palette. I forgot to show you all. I'm using the same technique in terms of blending out the edges. And I went back in with the pink just to make sure that the color didn't get lost as well. So it's all about layering. Right now I'm cutting my crease. I'm using the P. Louise Base Zero and this is how I measure my crease. So when I open my eyes that's where the base would stop and I always cut my crease just above that just so that we could see the purple you see the purple you're seeing it still and the pink and the yellow I wanted all of them to show now I'm applying this blue eyeshadow and I'm gonna start at the halfway point of my eyes because I'm not applying it to the entire lid and I'm going to fill out the edges of this crease and you all will see as we progress what I do next In the Ambrosia Cosmetics Diamond Dust and I'm topping the blue eyeshadow that I placed earlier. This Ambrosia Cosmetics is a local company, remember that, and it's only $60 for the Diamond Dust, I believe. So now I'm cleaning off the bottom of um, my lid, well obviously where I'm going to place another color. I used a Q-tip with some makeup remover on it first and now I'm just using a makeup wipe just to clean off the excess. So I can give you all, all the greatness with this look. So now I'm cutting my crease for the second time and I'm using the P. Louise Base Zero again. I'm just going to fill out the entire lid. This 
So I'm taking this white shadow from the Morphe 35B palette. This entire look was done using one palette, guys. I've been trying to do this one look per palette thing and I am literally now getting it off the ground. So I'm going back in with the same three colors that I use on my eyes already. The purple, the pink and the yellow from the Morphe 35B palette. And we're just gonna stack them and blend. This is all a blending game. Makeup is all about blending. The more patience you have, the better your makeup look will come out. So I'm going back in with the white shadow just to make sure that no other colors ran onto it. Just to make sure it's nice and clean. And for a pop of sparkle, I'm adding the Ambrosia Cosmetics Diamond Dust. This will be the same one that we topped the blue eyeshadow with. So I'm just going to get in a little closer so y'all can see the sparkle and the blend. Y'all, this took me 25 minutes to do one eye. So if you don't get this on your first try, don't feel bad. I definitely did not get it on my first try. But I hope y'all like it. I hope the quality of this video is good, guys. Because yesterday, I did it with my back camera, but it was not focusing. So the entire video was focused on my eye and not on my eye. So today, I decided to try it with my front camera, which is a little shittier than my back camera. Um, so I'm hoping that you all get to see everything, um, how it turned out, the beauty of the look, everything. So... I hope you all can appreciate it. I'm really trying here to get as close as possible. I'm just going to do this eye off camera and then we'll be back for the rest of the face. All right, guys, so I'm back. My eyes are done. Uh, I just have to put my lashes on and do my lower lash line, but that's after. I'm going to prime my face and I'm using the e.l.f. Paulus Putty Primer. See that hole there? Yeah, clearly I've been using it. So this is primer for today. Foundation is the Maybelline 24 hour super stay and this is in the shade 356 warm coconut. So I just started my concealer and I did not tell y'all. So this is the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal and this is in the shade Cool Tan. I usually use phone. I cannot seem to find my phone. This is lighter than phone. Phone is a lot more yellow. This is a little more neutral, which is fine. I could work around it. I just have to use a little less. I am so glad that this video is coming out better than the one that I did yesterday because if it didn't, I probably would have cried because these eyes take really long. And I realize now that you can't really see, oh yeah, if I come really close, you could see the pigment that I use. This is the Ambrosia Cosmetics Lust Dust. I love it. It's amazing. 
and I have no lashes on right now. I just um, I used the Maybelline the Colossal Big Shot. For a moment, I did think that the concealers got a little watery as opposed to how thick they were before. I don't know if they altered the formula. There is a possibility. Um, so I stopped buying them. And I tested out a few um, concealers. The Maybelline Age Rewind is a really good one. I just they don't they definitely don't have a like an extensive range in terms of different shades. So there's that. I used the P. Louise bases for um for concealer for a while, shade 5, and then I used to blend on the outside of shade 5 with shade 7, which I could do today, but nah. And, um, yeah, those are the two that I loved the most. And I still don't, um, I very rarely, I cream contour. I prefer powder contour, it's easier to manipulate. It's quicker. But when I'm feeling extra fancy, I'll pull out the cream contour. So I'm just about to set my highlighted areas using my Sasha Buttercup powder. Unfortunately, it's almost done. So it's just the usual spots under the eyes, the bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow chin, and the forehead. This is just to add some brightness to the face, and the Sasha Buttercup powder blends in really well. To contour, I'm using the shade Bobby, and this is by the Crayon Case, their Contour Session Notebook. And I'm just going to apply this around my face and along the sides of my nose. To blend that out, I went into my Sasha Compact Powder Palette, and I'm using the shade Perfect Bronze. This is just so that my contour won't be harsh. To clean up alongside my nose, I also used the shade Warm Beige from the Sasha Compact Powder Palette. That's a mouthful, but yeah. And I'm just going to highlight my nose, the sides of it, and the bridge of it. So, you know, everything looks clean and sharp. I'm also going to carve out my contour using that same shade. For blush today, I'm using the Sasha Cosmetics Powder Blush in the shade Santa Fe. It's my favorite blush. It is the, probably the only one that I use almost every day. And it blends really well with my skin tone. It's not too harsh. You all know I'm not a heavy blush kind of girl. And it, it just goes with everything. I do apply blush to the tip of my nose. Just so that it gives my face a nice color. I'm going in with the shade Perfect Honey from the Sasha Cosmetics Compact Palette. This is my skin tone shade and powder. So I'm just going to blend out everything to make sure there's a unison and we don't look multicolored. We're going back in with the three colors, the purple, the pink, and the yellow on the lower lash line. This is just to complete the look. It just doesn't look complete if you don't do this. I also popped some eyeliner and, mus and bottom lash mascara on. Y'all, putting on these lashes almost ruined my entire eye look, if it hasn't ruined it already. Thank God I have video because I'm not sure how the photos are going to look, especially on this eye. Like, what the hell? Like, I... My lashes are betraying me. My own lashes, the ones that grew from me, they are betraying me every day. I need to figure out how to straighten them out or something because they be fighting me and I can't go through all of that. I can't. I can't be struggling, taking forever to do an eye look and then the last thing that's supposed to make it look like blah bam. Then it's spoiling everything. What kind of shit is that? I'm going to line my lips with this liner. It's by NYX. Well, NYX. 
and it's in the shade 832 Cola. I've had it for forever. I love it. I probably should have sharpened it. And I'm going to use this. Um, it's supposed to be a lipstick. It's a lipstick, yeah. It's not lip gloss. It's a lipstick. And it's from Ellen Tracy. And it's in the number 12. I love how this turned out. I love that my cut creases are even. Not like yesterday. Yesterday I did one eye off camera and I did one eye on camera and oh, they're a little more even today. So progress. So the last thing I, I am going to do is put on my highlight. For my highlight today, I'm going to be mixing these two from the crayon case. Um, I'm going to lay down trophy first and then I'll top it with pink me trophies this month. Put it on the tip of my nose, just the tip, and right here on my nose bridge. And I'm going to top it with pink me. I'm thinking that I don't have to though, but pink me is just. Ooh, damn! Thank you guys for coming to my channel. I hope you all enjoyed the video today. And I hope that I can give you all more content that you all can enjoy. Let me just get a little closer so you can see. I really can't wink. So yeah, you could see all the details. And these lashes are by TT underscore ravishing. Mm. Yeah, so... Thanks so much for coming to my channel today, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope to see you all on my next video. I will be here. Where will you be? Hopefully here as well. So again, thanks for coming to Base Me Stressel. I say thank you so many times. I'm just gonna hush now. Bye, guys. Stay safe and stay sweet, my loves.